Hello people of the internet. It has been quite some time since I've actually sat down and made a video. I last did a end of the month video which has my haul and my um, what I coloured in the month in the end of April. Yes. And then in May I posted a I'm going to go off, not offline, it was more that I was just really busy doing a event and I knew that basically the whole of June and most of July, half of July, was going to be taken with that. So I thought I'd be absent without leave for about six weeks. Um, and then what happened is I got, after the event, which was fantastic, and I will do a colour and chat about it, um, I uh, got really, really busy at work. Beyond busy. Um, working 12 hour days every day. And there's just literally no time. All I do at the weekend is recover from working 60 hour weeks at the moment. But I have started buying stuff again. Right, these are the flash headlines. Number one, I broke my nose bend. Number two, I seem to break my nose bend when I'm really busy at work. It's almost like I don't have time to colour. And so I get my colouring fix by buying colouring stuff as though that's going to sort of fulfill the desire to colour. So, headlines are, I have broken my nose bend, um, I have re-bought a colouring book that I let go, <gasps> and I can't remember, I've bought more pencils, they're probably the free headlines, and everyone's going to have the intro, he's going to say, I re-bought a book that I, I let go, I have broken my nose bend, dun dun dun, and I bought more pencils. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to come. This is a lot of stuff haul, so get yourself a cup of tea, get yourself all straight, because we're going to town, alright? So hold on to your hats, people of the internet, hold on to your hats. The way I like to do hauls, and I haven't done a haul on its own for ages, because I've only bought, officially bought, two books myself this year. My mum's bought me one or two. My husband bought me quite a few in February. I won some. Um, so when I do do these hauls, which is the last time I did do a haul, do 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 did do, 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 do. <laughs> it was last year. Um, I do them in the order that I purchased them. Now the thing is, I've got so much stuff, literally so much stuff. It's piled up next to me here, and it started in May. I don't know if it's going to be in order but i'm going to do the stuff stuff first and then the books after so here we go so first things first and i did make a video about this i was sent these two sets of pencils by um kerry one of my lovely subscribers and i haven't even had time to open them yet so these are the uh koi noir polycolor 24 pencil set and the tritone, which I am dying to play with because someone has said to me these are fabulous for leaves. So I've already made a video about them, but these um, are part of this haul. Another thing that has arrived since my last haul video um, are these, and I've already made a video about these, and I have actually used it. I have used them really a lot. Anytime I've managed to do any colouring in the last May, June, July, August, four months, I have used these alcohol markers because number one they're very portable they've come with me uh, twice when I've gone away somewhere and they also travel downstairs with me quite easily so um, yeah I'm really enjoying them so far they're good and I made a video about these and in the video I showed that one of them one or two of them I can't remember now um, they, they didn't work and Ohu who actually contacted me and sent me a whole new set. So I have a whole second set of these. So um, that was very good of Ohu who, and I will say all the ones in the new set that they sent me work perfectly. So thank you Ohu who, for that. So they are part of this haul. And then the third thing that you've already seen that came in that time span is these ah <laughs> now i finished a rather large project at work usually when you finish a project or at our place anyway they give you a bonus or they give they you know they give a weekend away or oh what did we buy someone once recently oh an ipad it depends what people are into 
slurping me tea. And they, my boss, um, he knows I'm into colouring and, or, or art as I call it. <laughs> and he actually contacted my husband and uh, that was when these was recommended. So this is what I got from work as a well done for completing a project, which is phenomenal. So there's those. Okay, so I think that is all the things that you've seen already, as in I've already made videos on, because they came sort of at the end of May and I recorded a couple of videos and sort of drip fed them into June, I think. Oh. So, next, and this is really not interesting for some people, but quite interesting for me. I have never had any Black Widow pencils. No, that's a lie. I bought the Monarch pencils when they came out. I was fairly new to the this era of colouring when the Monarch ones came out and I bought them and I tried them and I did not like them and I sent them back. And I've never had any other Black Widows apart from that because I wasn't overly enamoured by them. Um, but then a lot of people say that they're really good and they're really smooth and they're nice to use and they're wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. And there was a friend of mine who, you know these pencils, the Black Widow pencils have been re-released now with the dipped colour on them. Um, she's a very uh, full set syndrome type of person and wanted to have her full set of pencils, Black Widow pencils, to be the same with the, with the dipped end. And so she offered these to me, which I, they don't even look like they've been used. It wouldn't surprise me if they haven't been used. Hold on. That one looks like it's been sharpened. The purpley one. That's about it. And um, so she offered, she offered these to me for free. And I said I didn't think that was fair not to pay anything for them so i can't remember what i paid i think i paid 10 pound for the two sets just so that i you know she wasn't sending them to me for free and i it, it gives me the opportunity to actually try black widow pencils without you know spending whatever it is for the ones because i don't care about the dip tins but she wanted to complete her or yeah, she wanted to complete her collection to be all the same with the dips ends. But I still haven't had a chance to play with them either because I haven't had a chance to play with anything. So there's those. Okay, so I think, yes, the next thing we move on to is these. Now, I love gel pens and I have lots of gel pens. But I don't have the 50 set of the Chromatech ones. I have the 30 set of the Chromatech ones. And when I bought these, oh, they was forever ago. It's either a year or a year and a half ago. I was like, I wish I'd have bought the bigger set because these are great pens. They've not got the same ink capacity of as the Color Technique, which you just can't get anymore. But they're exactly the same colors. They're exactly the same smoothness. They're all the good stuff. I have the Colour Technique ones, but with just a little bit less ink capacity in them. And the 50 set went out of stock when I bought these. I think actually when I bought these, the 50 set was out of stock and never came back in. And just recently, the 50 set come back in stock with the refills as well. And when I saw them come back in stock, I was like, oh, I might get those. And then they, you know, Hang on, I'm trying to fit all my gel pens back in the drawer, which they won't go. Um, so they came out and they came, well they came back online and I think it was $18.99 for the 50 pens and the 50 refills. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll keep them in my basket, think about them. And then I think it was a, a, two or three days later, they had a 20% coupon off. So they went, you know, 20% off, whatever that works out, £3.60 off. So they're like £15 or something. And I was like, I'm buying them like I need more gel pens but hey ho more gel pens I have and then talking of gel pens <gasps> I bought jelly rolls my goodness now for a while I have I used to have jelly rolls I used to sell jelly rolls when I had a craft shop and all my jelly rolls languished so long they dried out and went 
hard and didn't work anymore and I've got a video somewhere about it um, and I always say use your stuff because they'll go off and these are expensive Stardust jelly roll pens are expensive and I think when they first come out they were unbeatable but I think now there's there's they are beatable <laughs> there are comparable products on, out there that are a better value for money now the interesting thing was I was looking around a craft store. I took my mum. When did we go there? Was it for her birthday? No. Must have been my brother's birthday, maybe. Anyway, we went to a... It was a toy fair, and there was a craft shop there. And the craft shop was selling this set of pens for £10. Now, that seems cheap. They're not £10 I don't think this set of pens anywhere. They only had the Stardust Glitter as well. I did have had the others, the Moonlight and the other ones. I might have got them as well, but they only had these. And I don't know whether it was just because they were closing down. It was just a regular price. But I bought these in a craft shop. Where even was that craft shop? I can't remember. <laughs> I'd like to go back there, actually. It was a nice craft shop. The lady was in there. It was really nice. And... Um, we chatted for a while. So yeah, I bought some jelly rolls and my intention is to see are these still the best jelly, you know, glitter gel pens in the world? We shall find out. Next was I bought these. Now I saw these, it might have been Lindsay the Frugal Crafter that I saw these on and I was intrigued by the fact, yes it was Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, that they are a non pump action paint pen so let's just take the lid off and away you go so they are water-based acrylic great coverage odorless water-based ink so they're acrylic paint pen but they're not a beautiful packaging they came in as well look with all the colors that was that apricot i just used I think they are. Do they have numbers on them? Yes, they do. A15. The numbers on there. Odorless. <laughs> yes, odorless indeed. Let's have a look at that one there. That's a nice bluey one, isn't it? I was just really keen to try these when I saw, you know, no pumping. Is there a second layer then? Like a chocolate box. <gasps> There is. It's like a box of chocolates, isn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, don't come out of order. Oh, two ends. I did not know they had two ends. Oh, these are nice. Oh, these are nice. Now, oh, it's the first time I've had a go of these. I took them out of their polythene. Okay, let's put those back in. Can't remember how much these were when I bought them, but they were. <laughs> they did have five pound off, so uh, yeah, they look fun, don't they, to play with? Okay, so next is these, <laughs> and the reason why I've had been to do this is because I've given them to my mum. Um, I bought these Ohuhu water-based pens, and I that noise in the background, by the way, that's my phone. It is Sunday, and that is a work person testing me, texting me. I'm trying to ignore it. I looked at one of the messages and I was like, nope, Sunday, ignoring it. Anyway, I bought these and um, did a video on them. So it is another thing that I did a video on. Um, and then I gave them to my mum, because my mum loves my oh hoo, -hoo uh, water-based pens. Every time she comes around here, she was like, gravitates towards them. Uh, so I gave her I gave her these. So I bought them, but I don't have them anymore. And then the next thing I bought, oh dear. I'm trying to see whether this was Prime Day or not. It wasn't, but Prime Day is coming up. Okay, so the next thing I bought was, look, oh no more gel pens <laughs> now these are the really fine 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 non glitter gel pens they called uh, people call them something didn't they some japanese ones or whatever these are fab because they've got um, numbers and names on them as well and i bought a set last year of 10 i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
might have been 12. This is a set of 24. And I did say at the time, they are so smooth. Look how smooth these are. Let me zoom you down a little bit. Look, they are just the smoothest. The tiny half a millimetre, they're not half a millimetre, they're 0 0.5 millimetres, which is half a millimetre. One twentieth of a centimetre nib. They're so smooth. Can you imagine doing smooth mandalas with these? You know, really the tiny, tiny mandalas with these. So these went on to a special offer. Um, so they was, uh, like I say, I bought a set of 12 last year and this is a set of 24 colours. And how much did I pay for them? £13. <laughs> But they had £1.50 off, so they ended up being £11.50, which is very cheap. All of the next stuff that I bought, I bought on uh, Amazon Prime Day. Okay. Oh. First of all, there's these. Uh, again, gel pens. Again, non-glitter gel pens. Again, I already had a smaller set of these. I... Um, wanted the larger set haven't been able to get the larger set and then this set on its own it's usually about 18 pounds 17.99 which is so expensive for 14 pens but on prime day it was down to 12 so i bought that now i do know i have some of these already and these are a 0.7 non-glitter gel pen and yes i do use them for coloring um so i know that i have you know some of these colours but not all of them so it just really augments the set I've already got the next thing that I got on Prime Day was these can't believe I bought so much literally I have a stack still next to me um, I these went down to a really really cheap price this is the 36 set and basically it started off at the um, Prime Day it's been shown at sort of like 9.99 or something like that, which was a really good price for the 36 set. And that I wasn't going to get it, but I thought about it. And I even did an Instagram post where I said, oh, this is a good price for the 36 set and didn't buy it. And then towards the end of Prime Day, it was or the end of the two days of Prime Day, <laughs> it went down to 7.99. So I bought it. I bought the set of Silky Crayons for 7.99. So that was a Prime Day purchase. And then these, the next, the next two are really naughty Prime Day purchases. But hey, this is what a haul is for, to spill your guts. I bought these, <gasps> more pencils. I can hear you all screaming. You don't need more pencils. I know, but I want them. <laughs> these are the Winsor Newton Studio pencils. And I have wanted these for a while since I saw Colourfully Optimistic using them. And I really missed out because I went to Kazar, oh, it must have been last year. I did a shop with me and went round some craft shops near me. And these were on the shelf at $24.99 for the 48. And I found out, actually it might have been $29.99, I found out that it was actually a misprice. And if you went on their website, they were $39.99, Kazart's website. So they were $39.99, but they were also doing a Windsor & Newton special offer where you got £5 off. So they could have gone down to $34.99. And I was like, I'm sure when I was in the shop they were $29.99. And I looked back over my own footage and they were. So they obviously were priced up wrong in the store. And I was like, damn, I should have got them when they were $29.99. Um, well, on Prime Day, these went down to 36 minus 8. What's that? 28. So these went down to £28. And I thought for that, I'm going to scratch that itch and try them. Can you see how many sets of pencils I've got to play with? <gasps> we have got videos galore to film. And then the next thing I bought, and I did post about this, I bought a... 36 set of the Derwent Light Fast. These were uh, now I've been wanting to try some light. I can't get the lid open because you're wondering, is it sealed? It is sort of taped up. Let's get that open. Excuse me, Timmy scissors, why not? It 
so many people when I did my pencil collection was like, your pencil collection is unused. And I was like, nah, it isn't. <laughs> it, I just look after them well. And uh, when you've got so many pencils, you don't actually get them down to a stump. Now I do have, no, I've got no light fast pencils. I've never bought, I have some little pencils here. Look, I have some, I think there's a couple of pro color in here. Um, what's this one a cut you know i have some individual pencils that i bought over time some sometimes to augment an existing collection and other times just to try a pro color but i've never tried the derwent light fast and so i was going to try some i was going to buy some open stock uh pencils to try and you know pick oh, like 10 colors or whatever to try them but when this went down on prime day the individual price of the pencils well was cheaper than buying them open stock yeah I've just checked to see now right now these are 80 pounds eight zero when i bought them they were 56 and there's 36 in there so that is this amount per pencil <laughs> uh, and i thought to try them i want to compare them to the other fancy pencils that I've just got to be honest I'm getting really excited look at all these goodies because this is the first time in weeks this stuff has just been piling up next to my work desk and this is the first time in weeks I've revisited the pile and seen what I've got and opening these things and smelling the pencils and I'm just like I can't wait I've got today today to do stuff before I back to work tomorrow again okay so next Next is more pencils. This is a real pencil heavy haul, to be quite honest. And to be honest, it kind of makes sense because I've really got into pencils recently. Just before I stopped colouring to do the event, I'd really got into my pencils. I'd revisited all my pencils. I'd compared some pencils. Uh, I didn't make videos about these because I did it while I was on holiday. And um, I was really into my pencils and so when I saw a couple of things come up cheap, that's why I've jumped on them. So the next lot of pencils that I've got, and I really did not think I would ever, ever get these, is I've got the Castle Heart Arts Golds. Now, I didn't think I would ever get these because I'm not a mega fan of the Castle Art pencils. I don't dislike them, to be honest. They're not the worst pencils in the world by a long chalk. But they're the same as all the other black barreled pencils that you can get out there. And so I was not, you know, these come out when they came out, it was £120 and they're oil based, which is great. And then they went down to £90 and I was just like, not interested, not interested. And I watched a great review by Colouring Bliss. And I was like, and even she was like, you know something, the pastel pencils are comparable to the, um, which I have, I have the pastel pencils. To the soft touch ones, they're original ones, they make a nice complete set from, you know, light to whatever. The Castle Wilds Golds is not a nice of colour and everything. And then one day, I was, well, one day, <laughs> at this time when I'm working silly hours and surfing around the internet at night in the 30 minutes before I fall to sleep, um, I noticed that there was a... Um, on Instagram, they'd posted 50% off. There was a 50% off social 50 uh 50 percent off on their website i thought oh that's interesting so i wanted to look at their website see what was new and these were already reduced to 60 pounds on their website so with the 50 percent off social 50 these worked out 30 pounds now 30 pounds for 120 set it seemed like i couldn't turn it down <laughs> because i thought if i'm going to try them for 30 pounds that's a really good price now as i was checking out it came up and said you can have the 48 set of metallic pencils and i'm not a fan of metallic pencils for 15 pounds and i was like seriously 15 pounds i mean how much are these now so on Amazon they're £32. Okay, so they're £49.99 down to £34.99. So these I bought these for £15. This, all these pencils come to £45. £44.95 I think it was. Now they didn't come particularly well packed. Um, and I did, uh, you know, the box that they came in. Basically, they sent them 
just in a really big cardboard box with no padding. So they were just banging around in there with each other. And I was like, and the box turned out ripped and the ha these were hanging out. And I did say to Castle Arts, you know, please don't send pencils in the post like that. That is just, and they are well packed inside. I mean, they're in polythene, they're in a cardboard box, but you still need something to stop them bashing around inside. So I haven't had a chance to play with them yet at all. Um, Castle Arts have told me to sharp or sharpen them all and make sure that they're not broke inside and all that kind of thing. I just, I haven't had time. I haven't had time to play with all these pencils. So you'd think at that point that is probably enough new pencils to play with, with me light, fast, me Windsor and Newton, with me um, Luminance, with me Black Widows. But no, I hadn't quite finished penciling at that point. I also bought these. <laughs> these are the colour, colour yar. Lots of people got them from for it for free. I did not. Um, a lot of people said they were good, including, who was it who said they was good? One of my friends, Maureen, um, I know my real name's Maureen, what's her Instagram name? Uh, Stitch Colour, Stitch, 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 Cross Stitch, you know, <laughs> I'll put it here. And then she said they was really good, and then these went down in price. Lovely case on these, really nice, really beautiful looking pencils. Beautifully sharp, really looking forward to playing with these as well. These went down to £19.19. pence. They're usually about £24, but I thought for £19 they was a good price, something to try, beautiful colours, can't wait. Um, and I also bought these... I recently got a hundred pound voucher from work for being employee of the month <laughs> and I'd already spent as you can probably see all my existing vouchers and so I had some things waiting in my basket just in case and I so this was the first thing I bought with that a hundred pounds um, voucher that I got and then the next thing are we done yet no we're not <laughs> the next thing that I bought with my £100 voucher was the gel pens because clearly I didn't have enough gel pens yet have I what what is it about me just wanting one of everything I've got one of everything itis I love the case of these again these have come in as being quite good supposedly so I'm looking forward to trying them they are just not all gel pens some of the, what is it 48 gel pens 31 glitter pens and I'm guessing 17 metallic then a very odd number isn't it but um have an amazing colorful journey it's a nice case no the pens are no good and these was on special offer as well these were 16 pounds 29 so i got those as well yes and i know lots of people got them for free but i did not right so then the next oh see there's so so much next thing i bought was and again it was with me you know still spending my vouchers at the moment i bought these <laughs> now i have had a small set of these before and these are the amazon basic rip off tombow marker pens and i bought a set of these before and i don't know what happened to them i didn't have the big set i had either the 20 it must have been a 24 set it must have been a 24 set and this is the 52 set and now these have been out of stock for ages and the 24 set come i was going to buy the 24 set again to compare them with tombos and add to my watercolor you know my water-based pen testing that i do and but they've been out of stock for ages and ages and ages and so i decided i, I had them in me you know basket but they were just out of stock and they came in back into stock and i was like don't buy them at full price because you know amazon stuff always goes cheap but not only did the 24 pack come back in stock but this huge 56 52 pack came in which i've never seen before and they i added them to my basket and then about three or four days later they had a massive price drop drop i can't let me have a look what they were uh, it's hard to see because they're all at zero yes so these went down <laughs> what are they now hold on let's see how much they are now Okay, so these are currently 23 pounds and I bought them for 17. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to testing those, putting them into my water-based pen uh, comparison series. And we are not done yet. So what I'm going to show you now is around this time, just after that, we went away on holiday. You've seen the video. We were in Bournemouth. Yeah, I'll link the video up there so you can see it. And we, uh, <laughs> whenever we're on holiday, we have to go to, well, usually we go to the range. We didn't go to the range this time, funnily enough, but we did go to Poundland. Now, I'd heard rumor that Poundlands, Poundlands pens, glitter gel pens, were as good as the old the works gel pens yes these all right let's get these out so these are the old pound land gel pens these are the old the works gel pens they used to be two pound these used to be a pound these are phenomenal these were all right for a pound um then they stopped making them, the works have stopped making them, and they sell ones that are sort of like this, not not as good as them, about as good as these. And I heard rumour that these, these one pound ones, were as good as these, or certainly comparable to these. So while we was in somewhere that had a pound land, because we don't have a pound land near us. I bought four packs because I do like look. <laughs> oh, I am going to do a gel pen collection video. You will not believe how many. Gel These are not going to fit in my gel pen drawer. So I got those from Pound Land. Then we went to B and M. I think it was. It was either B&M or Home Bargains. It must have been B&M, maybe. We don't have either of these near us. The nearest one to us is, you know, about an eight-mile drive away. And there's nothing else there that we would go go to that area for. So we just never go. Um, and what I bought there was two, three things. Number one was these, which are... So we was on holiday. We're on holiday in Bournemouth. We went out shopping for the day. We bought some things. These were a pound. Yes, they were a pound. Were they a pound? I need to check. I cannot find the receipt. That was either a pound or two pound. They may have been two. Let's say they were two. You get a water brush with them, so I'm gonna say they were two. Two, four, six. Mm, would I have paid that for them? Probably. I was on holiday. So I bought these, which are metallic watercolor paints, as it says. They come with a water brush. They are very similar looking to the ones that you get from the works, which I still haven't played with. Oh, come on. There we go. So you get oh, oh, quite a big water brush with them. And they are, yeah, same sort of ones as you get. You know, the big, oh, they've got quite a bit in them. Quite a bit more in them than the ones that you get from the works. And they come in, obviously, the pinks, the blues, and the neutrals. <laughs> Are we calling them that? Okay, so I got those. And then I also got, because, like, I'm crazy. I also got these. Now, these have got the price on them. These were £8, and I remembered that these were £8. Now, these are pencils. And what I liked about them is not the fact that they were pencils. I really don't need all of this stuff. Look, this is what happens. I've been on a no spend for so long that I've just gone crazy and bought one of everything. See it, buy it, want it, don't want it, just... Let's get... Let's get... Look at these. Look at these. They're in these fabulous little drawers. Look. Whoopla. Oh. So these are the blues and the greens and the browns. Let's get them all open. Oh, look at them greens. I know what I like about these. Look, even if I don't like the pencils, the drawers are so sweet. And then there is... I'd opened one of these, clearly not. Maybe I opened one in the shop. 
these little trays are fabulous. I wish we could buy them separately. And then these are the pinks and the yellows. The pinks and the yellows and the oranges. Look. They stack. There's little holes there and they click into each other. So look. And then you've got, let's pull them ones all out. And then you've got them as well. Look. Ooh, these little perfect little trays. And I was with my husband. And I said, oh, look at these pencils. And I said, no, I don't need no more pencils. And he went, but they're in cute storage. And I was like, they so are. And so I bought them. Let's have a look. They're triangle shape. They have numbers on them. And, oh, they're very, let's get a bright one because that looks like a, quite a light one. It doesn't do it justice. Oh, they're not bad. They're quite soft. Looking forward to playing with these for a little bit. Softer than you think. Well, I don't know what you think. Not bad actually. They feel soft. So, two little sets together ended up being uh, eight, 16 pound. So 16 pound, there's 44 in each uh, set, plus the stackable tray thing. So you're looking at 16 pounds. Come on, get in the box. It's not going to get in the box. Of course it's not going to get in the box. It's hitting the flap at the bottom. £16 for 88 pencils, which I don't think is too bad. Now the next thing that I bought was these. <laughs> now I've already got a set of these. And these are £24.99 if you go to the range. I bought my set for £10 off of eBay. These was in B&M, the B&M that I went to, for £8. Now, they're phenomenal, because these are Mungio, and Mungio um, watercolour paints are the same as the um, Prima paints. I mean, I'd love the 48 set, but the 48 set's really dear. Now, I already have a set of these, like I said, so I have actually bought these as a gift for someone. But obviously, for I complete this, I'm showing them in here, and I would like to say, if you're anywhere near B&M, pop in and see whether they've got them for £8, because that's a bog. I don't know how much they are on Amazon, um, but they are dearer than £8, I think. Um, next thing that I bought was actually from Amazon, and that was some... Um, I wanted some filbert uh, brushes, and I wanted to... I have quite a few brushes, but I don't have many small brushes. When my mum and my brother come around to do painting, we have I have two this kind of size and we kind of all three of us fight over it so I wanted to, just a small set of brushes and these were going reasonably cheap and they had good reviews on Amazon there was only about three pounds or something and I don't really like cheap brushes but these had decent reviews people saying that they you know they held on to their whatever so I thought yeah perfect just for you know, my ability we're not at the end yet I mean talk about bites what is it? See it, want it, buy it. <laughs> I've actually wanted these for a really long time. These are the Jane Davenport pastel sets. So this is the lit up, this is the birthday suit, this is the chilled, really hard to get hold of now. And um, there's actually the fourth one here as well, which is the um, mineral eyes one. And this one has a broken thing in it. Now, I've been looking around for these for a while. They go for about 21, 24 pound a set, which is like, my, I kind of want to pay a tenner a set kind of thing. And um, there was no, you know, I, I just wanted to try them really, the sort of pastel sides of it. If I bought any, I was going to buy these two. Wasn't that fussed about these ones. Particularly not fussed about that one because it's sort of like a glittery one metallic-y one I suppose this one this has got enough pinks in for me I wasn't that fussed about this one so I was kind of looking for these two and then there was someone selling this one on eBay and it went for a decent price I think it went for about $14.99 new which was a decent price and I missed out on it I was like dang I missed out on it and then um, it was still in my watch list and then that seller listed all four 
all four brand new together they were still they are still sealed i haven't there's only this one i've opened at the moment and i think they were basically an old shop that was closing down and all four of these came in at it was less than 50 pounds so i think it worked out about 13 pound each for each one which is a good price i mean 50 pounds seems a lot of money it was less than 50 pounds but 50 you know when you break it down the fact that you're getting the four of them now when they turned up they was packed in this box but there was no pad in it and this top one got a little bit beaten up so it's got a, the broken one there and there's another one with a crack on it down here and the dust from this just had exploded this is it it actually cleaned up i've opened this and cleaned it up so you can imagine i mean you can see maybe you can't but it, but it's dust everywhere there you go you can see it all on well can you you can see it's all glittering all on me and so let's get me a bit of tissue that i just had here because i did have it wrapped in tissue to protect it until i've got a chance to um put it back together as it were you can see the dust anyway so i did contact the lady and said oh you know i paid 50 pounds almost and i kind of wanted you know them to be new and she was good as gold she refunded me she agreed that she probably should have put some padding on it and she ended up refunding me that one so um effectively i got got these three and i'm really looking forward to playing with them i'm really looking forward to playing with everything it's just having the time to do it at the moment so let's put them back in that box for now up there up there keep that safe and we're nearly at the end of the stuff. We haven't even got the books yet. This might be a two-parter. This might be a part one and then a part two. So next, next, next was I placed an order. There is a very naughty person on the internet. Hmm. I'll have to look up her comment and put it here. But she was talking to me in a video, few videos ago about the bold mirror um, pencils, because I need more pencils at the works and said how good they are and she said you should get a set they're only five pound a set and i was like oh yeah i might do and it was like i was on my no spend i was being good as gold and then she sent me a message about two weeks ago and said the works have got everything half price they're two pound fifty now you've got to get a set for that and i was like okay <laughs> i'll have a look at their half price sale and I looked at their half price sale and I bought the Boulder Mirror. Oh, look, there's me with my glasses on. Hello. <laughs> and the camera and my stripy top and my boobies. Um, I bought, uh, so these were five, these are five pound normally and I bought them in their half price sale for two pound fifty. Supposedly, this lady says they're very good and I should try them. So I bought them for two pound fifty. Also in that stuff, I've got nowhere, literally. You cannot see around me, but there is stuff everywhere. In that same order, I bought this. This was just over half price. I think these are something like twelve ninety nine, and it was five pounds. Um, and to be honest, I'm not really that fussed about the Mandala Discovery Kit thing. It comes with three pens. Oh, that was it. It was five ninety nine plus I had twenty percent off, so it ended up being four pounds. It was five pound. I got it for four pounds. So for four pounds, I got three of the tri-blends and I've got, I don't have all three of the tri-blends that comes with it. So basically I bought this set just to get three more tri-blends. So I have made a video about my tri-blends and how many I've got and swatching them. So it was worth the four pounds to get three more tri-blends. I also bought... <laughs> I dropped it. I also bought two packs of these illustrator sets, which were also, were they five or were they four? Did I get the receipt? Oh, I might have, hold on. Thank you for placing your order. Does it tell you on here? No, it's just the returns form. Why is that bit for? 10% off your next order. Um, no receipt. I'd have to look. I, I will look, but I'm going to look when I'm doing the editing and put the price up here. And I also had 20% off. So when I check these, these come with four 
in them and I do have a number of these I've done a video about these I really like these and one of these I don't have any actually I think both of them I don't have any of the colors in yeah I bought the sets that I didn't have so I've got basically eight more to go with my collection there was about five or six sets but some of them I already had two of the colors some of them I already had one of the color one of the colors so I just bought these two because they augment the collection I already have <laughs> I'm out of space I also bought these and these were really cheap these were three pounds so a pound a pen and again 20% off so I ended up paying two pound 40 for them and I only bought the silver and the gold ones or liquid gold and quicksilver as they're called and these are metallic paint pens I'm not going to open them because they're a shake press and all that malarkey but I did watch a number of videos on them first of all to make sure that they were good ones which they seem to be and you get a fine point, a bullet one, and then a sort of chisel sort of set. And they also did a copper pack, but I didn't buy those because I never really would use copper. But these were a really good price. And then the next thing, I also bought some Spectrum Noir Glossy Highlights, as it's called. Oh, that's really not focusing, is it? There we go. So it's like the glossy accents. This was £2.50. This was half price from £5 to £2.50. Again, I got 20% off. So it was, I don't know, whatever that is, another 50 pence off. So it's two quid for a brand new glossy accents. Um, I've got some colouring books as well, but they'll be shown in the colouring books. And then the next thing I bought was these, which I have bought these um, letters to do a craft day with my mum. They were a pound each, and so we can do painting or decoupage on them or whatever. Um, let me know <laughs> um so it's like for my m for mum <laughs> and uh you know me and my brother so we can can um decorate them for a craft event day that we have because obviously sometimes we do other things other than just coloring books so that i think is all the stuff here's the books that i bought so this isn't really a colouring book, I mean it's not a colouring book at all, it's a um, paint, pebble, paint, painting pebbles book. It was my brother's birthday in the middle of May and I bought um, him a couple of colouring books and I also bought this at the same time because this was exceptionally cheap and we do, um, when my mum and my brother come round for craft days, we do do rock painting, stone pebble painting, whatever you want to call it. And we're always running out of ideas of what's a paint. And this was, this book was like three pounds something, three pound nineteen or something. And I think it's great to um, just have in, have in, have in the bucket of <laughs> a bucket of bricks, have in the bucket of stones that we use, and just you know reference it for ideas. So bought that for when we do stone painting, rock painting. The next one that I bought was this one. <laughs> Now it's like once the dam was broken, once I was book buying, I'm buying everything that I've wanted for ages. Now this one, um, RJ Sampson, I became aware of him when he did the robot -y one. And I quite like the look of it, but not into robots. But I really did fancy this one. I've done a bit of colouring on it somewhere. It just looks really cute, doesn't it? It's got cute little pictures, different types of houses, ones that you really want to get stuck in. I know I'm way behind the curve on this one because um, everyone had it when it first came out, but like I was on a no spend, which I have blown out the water now. Um, I have definitely started one. I started doing some leaves in here and drying pencils in it. What happened to that then? Yeah, there was a sticker on it. Did I not see that? Yeah, I started doing some leaves. Little blendy leaves. Look at those. Oh, suits you sir yeah they're really nice really nice book really looking forward to playing in that one more the next two books again i'm behind the curve on i've got to find someone to leave these here was this one i'd actually bought this for bought this for my brother for his birthday on the 16th so at the same time as i bought the pebble pet book and when it came because he loves star wars and mandalorian and everything like that so i bought it for him when it came i was like oh it's ultra cute i can see why everyone would want it so i gave him his copy and then 
when my duck was broken and I started buying again, I actually bought the Christmas one for myself and the um, Baby Yoda one for myself. And again, when this mouse one came, because I just thought this was, you know, this is just beautiful size to do just quick fix over Christmas. Look at it, it's adorable. Um, so I bought those two for myself. That's all for myself. I don't know why I'm saying for myself. <laughs> The next one that I bought was this. It's not going to all fit in, no matter how high I try to get you, but there you go. It's one of those very long ones. Oh, it's very tall or is it long? It's the long one. Because I've seen the tall one and I really wanted the longest colouring book in the world one. This, no, the tallest colouring book in the world. And this is the longest colouring book in the world. And I saw it exceptionally cheap on Amazon. It was less than four pounds whoops let's get it in and i love the fact that the background uh, goes through and gets darker and it goes across the world and there's different things and i just want to get gel pens to do this with because there's such fine details in it and just do the whole thing in an antarctic in a really dark background now look at it longest coloring book and we start beautiful can't wait to can't wait to do it can't wait to do everything keep saying that so I've got that one. Then obviously about two days after the uh, Christmas one come and I realised how cute it was, I also then bought myself the summer one of Matchstick Mouse. Like I say, catching up. I've already done a picture in here. Oh, look, that's so cute and easy to do. Um, I haven't bought the autumn one. Not so fussed about the autumn one. I think I'm quite happy with the Christmas and the summer ones. That was the next book that I got. Now this is where things get a little bit ooh, ooh, ooh. Around this time, so this is about mid-June, I was really into my pencils and I was colouring in... What was I colouring in? I was on holiday and I was colouring in a book. <laughs> what book was I colouring in? Whatever it was, I was really enjoying it. And... Um, I thought to myself, oh, I want to do more colouring, pencil work in hardback books. And I was like, you know, what kind of hardback books are they? And then I was like, oh, yeah, everyone does Hannah Carlson. And I'm not a mega fan of the big faces in Hannah Carlson. And um, so I started watching, uh, went through all the flip throughs of all the Hannah Carlson books. And I ended up buying this one by Hannah Carlson. It's my only Hannah Carlson book. It's the Daydreams one. And it has, I literally went through each flip through on YouTube and counted the number of faces in it. And I wanted to try it because whatever I was colouring in had this paper. What was it that I'd have been colouring in that had this paper? But anyway, and I was like, yeah, oh look, I've even done a bit of colouring in it. Oh, oh. I forget that I do that, a little bit of pencil testing. So yeah, this is my only Hannah Carlson. I bought it purely because I wanted to have a hardback Hannah Carlson and out of all of the Hannah Carlsons, to me, this is the one that I'd more likely colour in because it has got less faces in it and I'm not a fan of faces. And then I had, I don't know why I had this penchant to get some hardback books to use pencils in, but I started looking, watching flip throughs of um, Maria Trolle books again now I had this book my husband bought it for me for Christmas not last Christmas the Christmas before and I sold it because it was like not for me and I've got a whole video when I'm decluttering my books where I go not for me but now I look at it I was watching the flip through of it and I was like I'd really like to colour in that book I really want to colour in that book but I cannot buy a book that I've already sold off now interestingly the price that i sold it for this was going cheaper on amazon than i sold it for so i ended up buying a book that i've let go once that's crazy isn't it but when i let it go i was in a non-pencil mood and i was mainly using um, alcohol markers and doing color by numbers and now I want, I'm into my pencils and just this paper and so yeah, I've bought, now this is the only Maria Trolley book, Troll, Trolley, Troll, that I buy. 
because again she's got a lot of kiddie faces and children this one not so much but in some of the others she's got a lot of there's one or two in here i think there was one at the back isn't there there's a little girl hiding in the bushes or something i'm never going to find it now because obviously you never do when you're looking on the videos but anyway she does a lot of those little girls in gardens and things and that's not for me so i bought that now the next book i bought i was actually i'd put off for ages buying any of the thomas lav tomic books you know the drum 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 and or whatever they're called and i didn't realize that thomas lav tomic was the guy who wrote the um who drew the dragon book the dragonology book and so i started looking and i saw this uh it is was it second hand or was it not i think it was second hand it was going for three pounds and it's one of those it's not a coloring book it's one of those books that have all the little ooh, little flaps in it and little ujima flips and things to have a look at and i love these kind of books and i realized that he the drawings that he did are just really up my street these kind of drawings are really up my street and i bought this because it was going exceptionally cheap and I just wanted to have a look at the artwork in it and I love these flippy things and it absolutely 100% swung me to finally buy Drummondvangen <laughs> Drummondvangen 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 because look at the pictures now you're all listening to me going we know we all knew it was a fabulous book you're just behind the curve yeah i know i am when i first started coloring i was definitely more into the um <sighs> alcohol art markers easy color by numbers now i'm cho just love using pencils and i just want more more books that lend themselves better to pencils so i bought this one i'm not so interested in the other one spooking spooking monster or whatever it's called <laughs> but I, I wanted that one um and then the next book that i bought was <gasps> my first ever mythographic bum bum and the reason why it's my first ever mythographic is it's because it's the first one without the stupid hidden things in it now i love the look of these books love the look of the artwork in them love the look of the pictures but did not like that you could be coloring a beautiful picture and then there'd be a playing card or a cassette tape or you know something crazy in it and so when this one was coming out the first one without the crazy things in it it was on my wish list i knew i was going to be getting it and uh yeah so it came out and i bought it next oh yes i jumped on the camellia angelakova bandwagon even though i can't stand the animals for the funny little eyes but there was something about this one i was on holiday it felt like I wanted to... I wish they weren't so big. I liked them when she used to do them as miniatures in the middle because I'm quite into doing these little small... You know, like the um, Morgan O'Brien pictures at the moment that are smaller in the middle. I don't quite like them quite as big as that, but I have done one in here as well. I've done that one. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, you know... I jumped on the bandwagon. I bought a Camellia Angela Cova one. I also didn't think I would. I didn't think I'd ever buy a Colour Quest opiate book again. I thought I had enough. Um, I've kind of m moved away from Colour Quest opiate and Colour by Numbers. But this one, um, especially recently as well, they've been doing their ones with the just, I think I've talked about it. They seem to be not right they've met the, the sky's black when they've done the negativeness of it and all this kind of stuff but i saw this one i saw a flip through of this one and this one is something totally different this one is back how they should be 
with the sky to colour in, with some great pictures. You know, these, these are all sort of fantasy animals and dinosaurs, quite small spaces to colour in. Um, not the crazy big black edge that's all black and it sort of looks like they've been done wrong. And um, already had a cut colour at one and I love the fact that because they're fantasy animals, they're just all, whoops, they're just all the colours. So usually when you're doing animals, they're going to be brown and grey and you don't get a blue anything. But look at these because they're fantasy animals. Fabulous. And I've, I actually emailed Colour Questopia and said this is the best Colour Questopia book for a long time. And I'm not a kind of jumped off the Colour Questopia bandwagon, but this one, really like this one. Really pleased that I got it. And I got it in that first week when they come out as well. Okay, and then next was this. Now this was Naughty Emma Colour's fault. I watched her really long, I think it was two and a half hours. It might not have been that long, but it was long. Over two hours, I think. Um, declutter video. And she showed this book. And when I, I saw this book a couple of years ago when it, when, it, when it was doing the rounds. And I kind of fancied it and it went out of stock and it never saw it again. And then I sort of, it dropped off my mental radar. And when Emma Colours was doing her declutter, she showed this. And I think she, she kept it. I don't think she got rid of it. And I was like, oh, she's brought that back on my radio. I really fancy doing that. Fancy doing that with gel pens sitting there. Nice and relaxing, colouring the little circles, bish bash bosh. Now I went and had a look on Amazon, and on Amazon it was $17.99. I was like, no, nah, I'm not paying $17.99. I mean, it's a nice solid hardback book, and it's obviously printed in colour, so it is going to cost more. Um, it's got examples and, you know, what they should look like at the front kind of thing. And I was like, yeah, but I'm not paying $17.99 for it. So I went and had a look on eBay, and eBay had... Um, is it the book people? It's not called the book people. What's the company that sell all the books? Second hand books, you know the one I'm talking about. And this one was in what's called very good condition. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It just has a little bit of a sticker mark there on the side. I'm not sure if you can see it, which will rub off. And it was 5 dollars including postage. So I snapped it up for 5 dollars and um, really happy I got that. And then the next three, okay, the next three books I bought when I did my works order, which included the um, Spectrum Noir things. Now the first two are Colour by Number books. They were three pound each. Now these, neither of these have actually been released yet. They were both showing on Amazon as being released on the 26th of August, but they are available to purchase already on the works, and they're already <laughs> less than half price. Colour by numbers, they're by uh, Andre Vaisberg, Vasberg, um, and they are quite detailed colour by numbers. The colour keys at the bottom, it's a standard colour key across all the pages. This one is uh, Enchanted. And then this one is animals. They kind of remind me a little bit of the non-3D uh, George Tethex's ones. That one would be nice to do, the peacock. So, yeah, got those two. The next one that I got is this one. And this one is really interesting because I saw this and I looked it up on Amazon to see what anyone had done a review about it of. And... It said on Amazon, such a shame, great book, fantastic artwork, such a shame that the pages are double-sided because this classic comic artwork really lends itself to using alcohol markers. However, because it's double-sided, you can't. And I was like, well, I really like the look of the artwork on it because it's kind of like this, you know, grayscale, comic-y kind of artwork. I, I do like colouring these kind of things and I thought I think I'm going to get it anyway and just do it in pencils well when it came it's actually not the same as the one on Amazon it is single sided now you have only got basically this side whatever was on this side in the one that's shown on Amazon you don't get so you only get half the number of pictures but you can use alcohol markers I cannot wait because obviously 
comics really do lend themselves to being coloured in you know in alcohol markers it's just like that sort of graphic design kind of kind of look and I cannot wait to play in this one look at that Buster Crab <gasps> anyone remember Buster Crab fabulous brilliant so I got that that was also from the works and then the next thing that I got from the works was this and I, why have I got, oh, it's because I bought it from the works. I did go to the works when we was in Bournemouth, look, yeah, I didn't think we did. And then we go, 14th of the 6th, this is when I bought it. Uh, we did go to have the works and have a look round, and I bought this because I do love these sticker books. Oh, look, and there's me thing from when I went to see um, Les Musicals. Oh, didn't know I had that in there, how cute. So yes, these are the ones where you put the stickers on, it's like sticker by number. I have a big one that I've already completed, this is a little one, it was only £3, I bought it. And then on the same Bournemouth trip, we went to B&M, if you've seen or already seen the, you know, the bit where I showed the pencils and everything that I bought from B&M, this was in, uh, in B&M for £3 and this is a similar thing, you know, stickers, stickers at the back and then you put it together so that i think is it i do actually have two coloring books coming today and uh, which i'm going to stick a picture of here because they're coming today so they won't really count as next week i have ordered this book which is actually going to be my first ever coco wyo book and i've also ordered this book which will be my second ever coco wyo book now, you're probably thinking, well, all your Amazon vouchers must be gone yet now. No, I still have £43 worth of Amazon vouchers to spend. So I've done very well with Amazon vouchers. I still had Christmas money left as vouchers. And then I won a number of £10 vouchers at work for reporting cyber things. Then I got my £100 voucher. Um, so I've done all right, you know. I have, but I have bought an awful, awful lot of stuff. I have literally, once the dam was opened... There was no stopping me. I mean, pencil-wise, I don't think there's any pencils left that I haven't got. And in the words of Emma Colours, I am as happy as a pig in poop. I have actually... I have actually enjoyed buying the stuff. It wasn't... When I was on my no-spend, I really thought I'd cope with it. I really thought I'd get to the end of the year. I really, really thought I'd get to the end of the year. Because... I have lots of stuff and it was when I had the when I no longer had the time to color that suddenly I need I started buying again I needed to scratch the itch of playing with coloring stuff and the way I was the only way I had the only time I had to do that was looking on the internet and buying stuff but anyway I think the itch is well and truly scratched I have the Rita Berman new book on order um, and I think that will probably be it for quite some time so if i do a haul i'll do a haul in style but i won't have one for a while um i'm not sure i'm going to do a what i colored um video i might because i have a few bits and pieces that i've done um since may but i haven't done much coloring the, pretty much the whole of june just was any spare time was doing the event after the event was over it's just gung ho into work if you're working 12 hour days if you're logging into work or going into work at quarter to seven every day and not logging out of work or finishing work or coming home until gone seven every day it really isn't a lot of time to color you know you finish work at seven you're having something to eat and your day's done it's very rare that I manage to squeeze a little bit of uh, colouring time in at the moment, but I'm hoping that will change next week. Hoping that will change. I should have to change because I cannot cope with doing 12-hour days for much longer. Otherwise, I am going to uh, burn out. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this massive haul. And take care, everyone. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching.